Now let's tie a parachute fly. A parachute fly is very important in fly fishing because we can locate the fly very well, but they are not so easy to tie, to tell you the truth. I will show you a way to do it, maybe a little bit more easy than usual. First of all, we start by the thread up to the beginning of the band, and I come back to the hook shank like this. Pardo for the tail. and the CDC for the body. This is the method I brought about 15 years ago. By turning the feather and twisting the feather, each time you create a very nice conical shape for the body. Put uh, the front, trim the excess. Now we are going to use a nice light color for the post. This is our first component. For the second component, we will be using two different colors olive one and the dark one. And transfer it to the second clam like this. Now we have our two components ready, the post first and the parachute second. So I will show you how to handle those two components at once. When you flat the thread, split the thread in two, and to keep the loop open I use my scissors. The first component it's in that way and to maintain the loop closed I use this small spring here and now I can reopen the loop down for the second alcohol substitute and this start to turn a little bit take the spring off and continue to spin the bobbin holder like this. And we have enough rewind in the spool. Now if I do wind like this I will have a polymer. That's not what I want. I want to have the red color on the top as a post. So each time I turn I will indicate the fibers to stay up like this and as you see there is more fibers up and down and when you reach the other color you go just like this around up to the end
So the only thing we need to do now is to trim a little bit the post like this and eventually to cut a little bit down what is too much. And as you see, this is just perfect. You can't see from the bottom the post, but when you will be fishing, you will see the post. 